All right. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Marie Shadows of the Square Circle Podcast. Today is a very special episode. We are live, basically, on Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. Um, and I'm joined by two amazing friends. So we have Morgan from Kicking Myself. How are you doing? Good, good. Good evening, Dr. Shadows of the Marie. Yes, I'm very happy to be here on this raid of shadows tonight. Yes. Yes, I am definitely Dr. Shadows for the night. And then we have our second buddy. Uh, John, how was your nap? Uh, it's It was fantastic. Um, I'm still baffled. I'm not sure if I'm more impressed that, that, that you complimented me or said I'm your friend. Both, both are rare for me, and, and I'm just happy to be here. Love you, love you, John. Come on, you know that. Didn't you, I see you? Didn't didn't I see you like five days ago or something? It feels like, yeah. You mean on Thomas Island podcast? Or... Cheap pop, cheap pop, yeah, cheap pop. Right, um, okay. Go on with your bad self. I'm re- I'm good here, <laughs> ready to talk. <laughs> yeah, um, I did kind of take them away from Thomas Island, but you know they'll, they'll be back yeah. on Tuesday, so don't worry about that. Um, so we do have one more extremely awesome guest too, which is going to be another ad. Cause guess what? Your girl got sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends. So let's take a look at the first ad. Hey guys, what's up? It's Marie Shadows and this video is sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends. Click my special link down in the description below to get some free goodies while you're playing Raid Shadow Legends. If you love Skyrim and you love turn-based games, this is a game for you. Customize your champion however you see fit, however you want to win your battles. Go into epic dungeons, fight the best bosses around, have the best teammates around. You can do this all in Raid Shadow Legends. With those smooth graphics, Man, you wonder why it's 15 million downloaded. Make sure to download Raid Shadow Legends today using my link in the description. It's free to play on mobile and PC, so get it now. Um, see, always during a live stream, there always has to be one malfunction of like muting yourself. <laughs> always. Wow. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Raid, uh, Raid, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends, Legends looks looks, looks, looks lit. lit. Pop, pop, pop! For, I pop for that, man. Like I, I want an excuse to do Raid Shadow Legends, and I'm like, I'm a Magic the Gathering, a, a Pokemon nerd, a, a comic book nerd, a wrestling nerd, and now I can be a nerd with people that I don't know. I, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, I, and I want y'all to know, I'm not being paid for this, so I can I can say this freely. That game actually looks cool as hell. I also am not being paid for this, and I also am not being held hostage. So yes, I can say freely that I I I think and, the game does look and, sweet as well. And now we can both see our families again. Uh, go ahead and check out the description for for their your code, right? <laughs> yeah, there's like a code, and they get some cool shit or something. So basically, what happens is that when you click on the link, you get to download it, uh, pass the tutorial, it give you cool stuff in game, and then when you get to level fifteen. You also get a promo code from me, and you get even more stuff into the game. So, you know, that's what you do. Tight. All right. So, we are here to talk about the booking of Shane McMahon, because Dirt Sheet seems to be running wild with that. He left WWE. He was furious. Now he's a free agent. And then Tony Khan is like, there's a free agent walking through a forbidden door. So, you know, Shane is a very polarizing figure. And we're going to try to book him with, like, weird shenanigans of what if he joined Bullet Club. What do you guys think? <laughs> I hope I don't get thrown off the air, but that song that song that pops, pops me all the time. time. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, 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 yeah. Go ahead, Morgan. No, you go got, ahead. You got John. thoughts. No, no. I want no. you to go first because I want to hear what you're going to say so I can say something better. Go ahead the ADHD is strong. So um, I I think the first thing that we will do with Shane McMahon is I need to figure out what Bullet Club shirt he would even have. Like, obviously, the first thing is like the merch, right? Like everyone in Bullet Club has specific merch. What kind of like Shane O'Mac Club? I don't really like that. Money Club? What about, what about, what about we drop using some blah, blah, blah club and he's Bullet O'Mac? Bullet O'Mac, I like that. 
like Bullet O Mac. Yeah. I mean, does he ret- would, does he retain the rights to his own name though? Because you know, I don't know if, Vin- <laughs> if Vince bought the names for his children. Does he uh, even retain the rights to his own children? Stand I, by. I think I'm, of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna look, look it up, up on, on the uh, uh, patent and trade. trade. Mark office. office. Yeah, oh, like no. Google that. Let's see if that that's a thing. Uh, I mean, like, I wouldn't put it past someone, someone to trademark their own their son's, son's name. name. That would that be. Would be I, mean, I mean, I like, <laughs> just opened open a door, door that, that I didn't want to open. open. Oh my that's god! Wild. I, feel like, I feel like it would be like, like actually, 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 it's not actually a bad, bad idea if you're a famous person to trademark your name. You know, register trademark and stuff. So. You know, doing that, you think you could trust your dad to to hold the trademark for your name, and then next thing you know, he fires your ass, and now you <laughs> now you got to you got to change your name to to Shane McGillicuddy or something. <laughs> Shane O'McMano. Yeah, Shane he's gonna have McMano. to. Yeah. See, I gonna have to call. This is why, like, I needed you guys on here because I I knew that we'll get into. This is why I knew that you know you guys would be great because we'll get into some shenanigans. Um. But, okay, yeah, while, um, John is Holy out, shit! Well, is it trademark? Is I'm it not trademark? even kidding. It is yeah! trademark. Yeah, <laughs> World yeah! Wrestling Entertainment Incorporated, corporate corporation in Delaware, name. for six years. Can't even use his own Holy name. Shit. That oh, is... ten years. Section eight. Ten years. Ten years. Wow, we are actually doing real journalism here. Uh, first, renewal <laughs> was, first renewal was first renewal was 2016, 2016 so, so 2026 it'll be up again, and then like from there they could renew it as long as they're still using it, which is why sometimes you see like they come out with action figures or other shit that of people that don't work for the company anymore because that's how they maintain the you know maintain the trademark. You have to keep using it. So that's so wild to me. Like if you think about it, like he can't they registered even... it back in 2005, 2004. Sorry, 2004. So that means he has to pay not only for, like, because when we were talking about this in my head, right, like, I was like, you have to pay for your own entrance theme. You have to pay for your own, like, is the is the look trademarked? If the look is trademarked, because I can't, I could see him, like, like the baseball wrestling. jersey thing? Yeah, because, like, no. when, when I see Shane, I'm like, hmm, that's already, like, you know, now, now I'm picturing Shane coming out with like wow, evil yeah. and Dick Togo and everything, and I'm just like, what does he look like? What does he look like? He's he's. D- he does anyone do the? He could still do the the baseball shirt, but that's just gonna make him look like he's an LIJ or something. But can he do the dance? Can he do the? Da- is the dance trademark? Like, uh, yeah, you can't trademark it. Oh, I guess you. I mean, that's been an argument that soldiers yeah. have having for years, right? <laughs> the floss thing, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. No, the can floss you? too. Yeah. 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 Wow. I mean. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna jump in here. Go ahead, Marie. I did not Sorry. think we were gonna get all yeah. that information at all. Sorry. I, no, I'm no, qu- it's, it's I'm, cool. I'm like, I was like a hack. I'm in. Because now I'm here, like, wow, everything that we discussed in the freaking show notes. I'm like, I thought it was gonna be fun, silly, and satire. Now it's like. Oh, sorry. Oh shit! It's real dark. <laughs> now it's dark. I mean, Shane McMahon yeah. is literally. A trademark. Holy like, shit. So we, all right. So, so the first thing we need to do is we need to come up with a new name for him. Because right, well, it can't be Shane McMahon. I got what nothing. Got I didn't know it was going to come back registered as a trademark. I, I thought we were just going to. I thought he was. I was like, there's no way this man is going to trademark his. I wonder if his name is trademark. I wonder if Vince has trademarked his own name. I'm sure he has because, you know. Uh, but. All right, so All right, let's, let's, let's let's let me put up a random number, a uh, random name generator, really quickly. <clears throat> let's do that. Uh, uh, we got a buddy in the chat. While you do that, Morgan, I'm gonna say what's up to J Rod and uh, Duke Kings. Thanks for uh, joining us here. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to know that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to um, know right, that, so what that Shane's mean? name is uh, trademarked. Uh, that really, like... I, I mean, it's not uncommon. Um, <laughs> no, it's not. You know, but, like, like it... for, for, for the purpose of this video, it's just to be freaking funny and satire because everyone thinks they have a scoop on where Shane is going to go. 
and none of it makes sense. God, I'm telling you, Shane ain't going fucking anywhere. He's gonna have to change his name. <laughs> no, I think I think there's a legal precedent. Uh, he, if he, because it's his real name, I I don't know what the what the legality is there. You know, I'm not a, you know, what I'm saying I'm not a lawyer. Or anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if I got, not, I, funny uh, John, I think you had some thoughts that you wanted to share, but you didn't get out until like you know oh, you yeah. um said that. Well, okay, yeah, sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, no, that's cool, man. I would like I would to like see to Shane say, come in almost, almost with, with them, them uh, with the uh, Bullet Club. If he come, if he came into Bullet Club, we're just saying, we're saying if, if there's literally no reason no to think he would, would, but let's say he did for some reason, reason whatever promotion, promotion. Um, um, I think it would be tight, tight if uh, uh, if he came in almost kind of like, kind of like bought, bought his way in. Way in and yeah. got kind of like treated as such and just overly did like all the bullet club gear like he comes out like in the pants right and like the track mm -hmm. pants and the shirt Com comes he's out the like original soldier mask <laughs> but he's just he just overdoes it uh it's just uncool but everybody else has to contend with it because he's got the money you know even even more even more controversial storyline here he buys the bullet club oh my god that's that's john john, john. I just Gato. like making I just like making wrestling fans angry. That's why Gato. nobody should ever hire me to book Gato, wrestling. Gato, Gato and Jado just just sell him the rights to book New Japan. <laughs> exactly. I think. I, yeah, that's tight though, because because uh, making people angry makes me happier than <laughs> working and doing podcasts. That's not true. Uh, but but in all seriousness, um, it, it's 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 not a fit at all, which is why it would actually be it, it yeah. could be good booking. <laughs> so like the question is, is he in a tag team? Is he by himself? Because like, is he the best of the super juniors? I don't consider Shane. The, yeah, like let's 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 go with Blaine Bl Black Man. Uh, no, I don't like that. Let's go with Blaine. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. You know, I can't. I McMahon is such a weird um, name that is sy synonymous with just like WWE and wrestling. I'm just like I can't I think, think he of could, anything. I think he could just call himself Shane. You know? Oh, drop, like it, drop like like name. Cody did drop drop the last name. Yeah, like yeah. Cody. Did. Yeah, just 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 Shane from the E. <laughs> Like the E Street Band, is that what you're saying? I mean, he can't. He has no credit. He's. I mean, he. He. I guess he is a former hardcore champion. So he could show up. He could show up and be like, uh, "Never open weight title match, please." Oh. Or, um, or, I don't know. Oh man, I can't wait to see the King of Pro Wrestling matches that Shane's gonna put on with Yano. I personally. Oh, he tags with Yano. <laughs> Bullet Club. You know, forget forget Bullet Club for a second. Cool. Shane O'Mac and Yano. <laughs> uh, no. I'm, I'm dead. Just brings like a bunch of things like a rubber duck, like a like I don't know. Uh let's see what else. Bubble wrap. Like he, yeah, let's it could be like a lost in Japan storyline, right? He flies on an airplane, he's like my dad sent me my dad got my dad sent me on an excursion to find talent because I've been he's been firing all these people from my company. So um, Yeah, you make the joke that that, that that what happened was Shane didn't know he was fired. Exactly. His dad no, put him on an airplane. He still thinks he's employed. That's the running well, he, gag. No, he got a phone call mid flight. <laughs> 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 when he got to Japan, he, now he's now he's stranded in Japan no, with no way to has, get home. He has no money. He has no other fields of opportunity. All he knows is wrestling. And he was like living in the dojo. He's living in the dojo with Captain New Japan. He's gonna have to be young boy status. Uh, young oh my god! Status. That's why. That's how you start him out. You don't even debut him in the he's ring. Gonna take, he's gonna take the fallet bumps. He's gonna become but the you, ring announcer. Take the you have bumps. him. You just have him as out there as a young boy, or you know, you just have him out there like you know, like you know, helping people get up and you know all that shit. And then like people, <laughs> but people are like, wait, is that Shane? Is that Shane McMahon? Yeah, but wait, you don't say wait, shit wait, about wait, it. You don't say wait, shit wait, about wait, it. Yeah, like the, like the viewer is clued in, but like the wrestlers are like, no, nah, this is a young boy. It's fine. Yeah, some guy, you know, yeah. he grows a mustache. <laughs> so they don't recognize <laughs> He grows a mustache. Shaves his head, grows a mustache. Uh, gets beat up by Suzuki every single time he goes to the ring. The eventual Suzuki long booking feud. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Shit. <laughs> 
he does it tries to coast to coast suzuki suzuki no sells it i like it i like this i like where this is going oh my gosh <laughs> which by the way we didn't even discuss any of this stuff we i, I want to start with like shane and kenta because i know that shit's gonna be good. oh sorry yeah go ahead oh yeah <laughs> sorry he's gonna accidentally call him hideo itami and then it, ch chain reaction of events is going to fall down and dominoes and everything is going to... Uh, every man. time, he just carries a checkbook around and every time he calls him Hideo Itami, he writes the <laughs> he check. Pays and, and he, writes. <laughs> he, has to, he has to pay the WWE but to do it. But, so. but he doesn't have any money, so the checks are all voided and then well, they come back. Bounce, they're yeah. like, oh man, and then his his music is, is just the, as Tama would say, is just like the, um, you know, because they have to write uh, they have to license the music out. He can't license his own music, so he comes out with the sign in poorly written, uh, you know, Japanese. It says, "Here comes the money," and everyone's like, "Oh, Okada's coming out! Oh man, that's sweet!" And 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 no one understands it because they don't get it. Honestly, I I don't quite get it myself, but I, I it sounds good in my head. <laughs> oh my god! I want him to like contend with the King of Pro Wrestling trophy, but not against like, not against Yano, against Okada because he's got millions of dollars and Okada is the rainmaker. So that to me writes itself. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Duke King says uh, that's some booking. This is why I picked both of them, man. Like during uh, Thomas Island, like they they booked the best can they coexist storyline. And I'm like, damn, I can't tag in for this shit because uh, I'm over here at home watching it. So I was like, oh, you know, let's just let, let's just redo it on <laughs> my show, but this time something bigger. Um, uh, we blew the we blew the lid right off this whole thing. I'm telling yeah, you, we did. <laughs> we did. <laughs> I was promised Raid Shadow Legends. That's why I'm here. So you know, I'm just I'm just, I'm just doing. Oh, I'm fulfilling. Yeah, Raid, yeah. Raid Shadow Legends, man. You know, I heard that if you use Marie Shadow's <laughs> promo code. <laughs> <laughs> you can get uh, something. What is it? It's a package. Sh you can get Shane McMahon in Ray Shadow Legends. Special. <laughs> He's that dude with the skull, right? Or oh my god! He's Goro, the commercial. On the, he's Goro on the throne. Goro. In Mortal Kombat. He, he kind of was the Goro of of yeah. WWE, huh? A little bit. I mean, like, because he's the fable, like, when he came back, because, because everyone was... Shao Kahn, and then... <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I'm done. <laughs> I just remember, I was like, when he came back, I'm like, man... And Nick, and Nick, Nick's Con, Nick Con Motoro. <laughs> Motoro? Motoro. Because yeah. he replaced wild. Goro. Yes. That's wild. That's this wild, yo. Know. podcast at all. Yeah, yeah. It's secret. This is secretly a way to talk about video games. Sorry. Well, this is also like, isn't the meme going around of like, like Shawn Michaels moving up the the Mortal Kombat ladder and like Shane McMahon is crossed off the list now? So this all makes perfect sense. Um, so so really, really, Shane should come into came come to the ring, um, and then when they do a Forbidden Door angle, he should just be like. I met I'm Tony Khan. He should be like, I met, I met the I'm other Khan. I was at the other company, the other Khan. Oh no, man, man. Oh no. And then immediately get booked in an exploding bar barbed wire death match. That's that's where I'm going. That's what I want. But it, but so it'll, it'll want. actually explode. But that this was, time. I, that gimmick. That match was supposed to be the the whole point was supposed to be. Never mind. I'm not getting on on that soapbox. Anyway, <laughs> not getting on this soapbox. Not getting on this soapbox. John, John, John tried to trigger me, and I knew that I wasn't going to fall for it this time. So. I told you, I like I like making I like making wrestling fans angry. It's just what I do. I just want to see Shane in GCW now. I just want to see him kick up like a bump, a Hammerstein ballroom bump, where he just like is is, yeah. is so out of shape, cracking beers. They send him to Japan. He gets back in shape. He comes back to GCW, and he's like, I'm going to fight X Pac uh, again. <laughs> wow. Uh Usually I say that um I want to get hired as a writer, but damn, bro, you know, like, spinning out these 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 ideas. Just, 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 just do what I do. Have lots of ADHD. Have no filter, and eat a bunch of sugar before you come on the air. Um, oh, but eat a bunch of sugar. Yeah, you know, Girl Scout cookies and malted milk balls and 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 no sleep. Just do that for like forever. Um, but we. we 
like, so again, would here's a real like here's a real interesting question though. Shane McMahon in a G one climate, does he go O and uh, does he just go O X drop the entire bracket, or is he just like is he Yoshihashi where he just like runs the field and like gets like the feel good win and then like seven years later has still never won a belt and then wins a belt and everyone just is like super impressed by him, or is he just like uh, John, John, I don't know. I don't you, know. You, tell you tell me, man. Tell me, man. <laughs> he got nothing. <laughs> no, I just want to hear what Maria has to say on this one. <laughs> um, well, you know, if he was able to keep the McMahon and, you know, obviously uh, he would definitely be like um, beating everybody. But no, I guess we could go with the underdog story of um, him beating people and then losing to certain people and, you know. Uh, taking his licks as like he comes, but um, yeah, <laughs> that's so, so we, so we I already like see established. Him in G1. So we already established, right? Right. He's dropped his last name, last name. so he's just so Shane. He's, he's a young boy. boy. Start, Start off, off with, with the black trunks, black trunks. but wears, wears a straight, straight black, black baseball, baseball hoodie, hoodie with uh, uh, uh and he's grown a mustache. And we're following that thread right now, right? That's that's where I've got so far. I'm 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 writing all this down so we have future booking plans. Yeah, um, we, we, it's recorded, so you know we could just. Go oh yeah, right, 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 right. So, so John, so, John, so the, yeah. the, the, the 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 gimmick is right that he he's in the black trunks. He's he can only do. I don't even think Shane McMahon knows how to do like the basic wrestling moves, right? So I don't I don't know if he knows how to do an arm drag. I don't know if he knows anything aside just throwing his body at people. Uh, he does the uh, he does he's done a few things. He's, he does a headlock. Yeah, yeah, he's but got he, a. But he, he's got he, a headlock. He, he does close close fist jabs, which are not yes. legal. Uh, he, uh, no. Uh it depends on the circumstances. Uh, okay, so let's book let's just book Shane McMahon in he's Bullet just, Club uh, versus what Shibata. He, what if he does like the uh, the a shoot fat uh shoot fight, you know? Oh he just he just yeah, gets into a shoot fight with Shibata. Uh I like this where this is going. Yeah, okay. Could, Remember before? Okay. Remember Shibata tried to do the uh, traditional wrestling rules, so he's 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 not against uh, you know doing these kind yeah. of interesting things. So Kenta is managing Shane McMahon in a match against Shibata, and Shane is in again. Well, no, we're doing the Bullet Club angle, right? So Shibata fought in Kenta, and Kenta can manage Shane and stand there while Shane gets the crap beat out of him. And remember, we're not using his name, his last name, the rest of the podcast. It's just Shane until he earns his last name back by finding talent on a New Japan Lost in Translation story. That's that's the first book. That's the first first booking angle I've got. Which I love. <laughs> I just think that Kenta, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, managing Shane is uh, the weirdest shit. But I I do think that uh, Kenta will definitely implement some of the stuff that uh, Shane did to. Vince in training for Austin, so um, I think Kenta will, will, will do that. Uh, give me Shane. Shane give me Shane over Shane in Fale's dojo. dojo. <laughs> on that, on that, on that, on that reality show they've got on NJPW. Oh, which by the way, another plug. Uh, I've been writing the reviews for uh, Lions War, which you guys can go uh, check that out. And um, it's really cool that the Fale Dojo followed me after that. And uh, one of the other students uh, followed me, so Michael followed me as well. And um, uh, I got a shout out from one of the uh, students' moms too. So you know, uh, hey. everybody loves me. <laughs> I, I'm actually really jealous. I'm a huge Bad Luck Fale stand, and anything like my dream is for uh, like if that if Bad Luck Fale were to be like, I will, I will chop you for like two hundred dollars. I will pay that. Like I just, I just the man, the man is, is the man is man so is cool, cool and so, and so like, like I okay I'm I'm super I'm jealous. jealous. <laughs> yeah, right, so my dude? jealous. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to go walk off set, and cry in the bathroom, and, and you can hear that from yeah. there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, but uh, but I but I think I think that Shane has an opportunity to do something great, but I think he's just gonna spend time with his kids, and I mean he's still. I'm sure I'm Vince sure isn't Vince like cutting him off. Money. Also, he has his own money. I don't think I don't he's going think he's anywhere. Going but anywhere. if he did, I want him to do something, something stupid. stupid. <laughs> Incredibly what stupid. What do you got? I want. 
I wanted the I wanted the the hop from every faction in NJPW, <laughs> from faction to faction, and just keep getting kicked out and getting his ass kicked, till he tries to start his own faction, and it's just all XWWE guys. Oh man. It's Yoshi, it's Yoshi, it's Yoshi, it's Yoshi Bullet Club Hunter all over again. And it has to spell. It has to spell out somehow. The faction has to spell out like WCW. Oh. Like or, warriors, or, or, warrior, warrior, the warriors, warriors call, call of war, war or something, you know, or, or, or alliance or something, something crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that way, yeah, it's, it's like, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah that, um, that's really cool with that. Um, but we could go down the line of like Bullet Club members. So after like Kenta, right? Uh, I forgot who I put in the show notes, but like, oh yeah, like Evil. Like, how the fuck would he interact with Evil and like Dick Togo <laughs> and all the shenanigans? <laughs> I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have I have just one man in mind, Yujiro Takahashi. That's how he interacts. It's all, if you're House of Torture, you just, Yujiro could just show up with Shane yeah, McMahon one way. One. There's definitely no room for, for Shane McMahon in House of Torture. I just, I can't even, I can't even pretend to make that work. Is it, um, is uh, Yujiro getting uh, Shane some booty? No, no. You, you <laughs> draw was like, do you need money? <laughs> you just you <laughs> use a valet. You valet. He, he <laughs> rents him out to like Tai Chi as a valet or something. I don't know. Oh my like, god! <laughs> nothing. Instead of Miho Abe, it's um, it's Shane. It's Shane. No last name is man. Praying when uh, the 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 he's coming out to the. Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. It's too ridiculous for even my head. Uh, just have him in. In like, like a corset, corset and, and high heels, high heels. And, and, and but the high heels, the high heels under the high heels, heels are just like sneakers. Like, sneakers. like he's, he's got, got high heels, heels on, on and big, and big boots, boots, but at the bottom of the boot, it's just sneakers. Jeez, man! Wow, that's <laughs> that's interesting. So I guess I guess it's a it's a no that Shane can definitely not do anything with the House of Torture guys at all. Especially, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, Dick Togo did, did used to work for them. So I'm sure yeah, there's, sure there's something, something we could we could book there. there. Probably. Probably. Nothing, nothing good, good though. though. Yeah, definitely. You know what I, 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 I want him to do, do you know how Chris Jericho so, went over the NJPW yeah, and did like the pain maker or whatever, did like that. He did that like um like like the guy who's like in his forties or fifties or however old Jericho Jericho's like ninety, but I mean who like hang, who like hangs out in front of the hot topic at the mall to pick up underage girls like that like had like the bad makeup and the fedora you know what I'm yeah. talking about like yeah that's dude, what we need yeah, yeah. that's that, that's what we need who Shane O'Mac to do who goes to the mall anymore come on man I don't know come listen on, I'm bro. old I, I lived mean, in dude, the mall before COVID I used to go to the mall like I miss it I miss it yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm in Florida. Florida. We're all malls. Florida's ninety percent malls and ten percent alligators. So you're, so you're telling me that that that, that Shane, that Shane no, last, no last name redacted, redacted is going to yeah. wrestle Tanahashi at the Tokyo yeah. Dome, but with oh, the, the like the goth, goth makeup, the goth thing. Oh my god! <laughs> and like spikes <laughs> on his. Oh man, <laughs> with the broken hardcore title belt, belt that doesn't have the logo on it, and it's just a piece. Oh, it's just like the broken. He finds the broken intercontinental. The New Japan Intercontinental title in the trash. <laughs> you know, I think, away. I think, you know, because it's his real name, he could just call himself McMahon. I'm uh, probably, but Mr. I like McMahon. The idea, <laughs> I'm like, I like the idea of just Shane redacted. Shane from the E. Yeah, we could definitely go with that. Um, Shane from the E. Yeah, like, is, that, is that like Jenny from the block? Yes. I don't know, but who else? Like he calls up like Pete Gas and some people, and they fly over on New Japan or something like that. Like Mean Street Posse era. Yeah. Oh, no. He could just make but his own over there. He could make his own Mean Street Posse right, with the right. New Japan so, guys. So, all right, Marie. So who are we booking in the Mean Street Posse for New Japan? Go, on, go, go, go right now. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, who who are we booking for? I have to I have to think about this. Um, I mean, should we just book people from like chaos? Because there's so many people from chaos. Um, I can't keep I, I, can't, keep, I, I can't keep up, up with who's in chaos, chaos anymore. I can't see. I, I was gonna go with like you know throw like Orange Cassidy in there, like best friends to to be part of the Mean Street Posse because they're part of chaos. Um, I have too much respect for Ishii, so I'm not gonna throw him in there. Uh, maybe Yoshihashi could be part of that, but then people are gonna probably no. get on me. <laughs> no, uh, I. I, I 
my head cannon is Shane McMahon versus uh, uh, Orange Cassidy versus Dan Housen somewhere versus Toroyano, and I want that match booked. <laughs> but, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yano announces he's taking his Curry International, and he needs an American investor. <laughs> and that's how we get introduced to Shane McMahon. Oh. <laughs> and, and then the Forbidden Door bit is they bring CD in as Curry Man as yeah. the mascot. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Done and dusted. That was easy. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Thanks That's for listening, good. everybody. That, you can't get any better than that. So uh, <laughs> enjoy Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> um. Oh I, I, just, I just I need to I figure out like, figure out, like I'm still on the G1 or like, or like is it does he do does he run like World like, Tag League does he run Best of the Super Juniors? Juniors how much do you think Shane McMahon even weighs like he's gotten he's got more muscle in the years right because he came back and he looked much better yeah and he got injured he fell out of a helicopter uh, oh yeah I forgot that did? happened honestly yeah he fell out of a helicopter I didn't, I didn't know that. Well, yeah, it crashed and he fell out. To be fair, it wasn't like he was fucking around and fell out of the helicopter. I mean, like it, it was that it was a, a mechanical thing that happened and then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't want to make it sound like he. I don't want like to like make it sound like he like just fell out of it. <laughs> uh, this says he weighs two hundred and thirty pounds. So is that w Is that WWE or is that Wikipedia? No, I use Wikipedia. All right. All right. All right. Wikipedia so then, tells you Undertaker's real height, which is like eight inches shorter than they bill him. Yeah. Um, this says he's six two and two thirty. I could buy that. Six two and two thirty. I mean the muscle. I don't know. Yeah, hey, I mean, I mean he's, got, he's got a huge neck. He's all neck. <laughs> he does have a huge neck. He does. Well, so does his dad, though. They both do. I mean, they have huge like these. Well, just... yeah. I I kind of want to see a Wrestle Kingdom where he just Vince walks to the ring now. Like in Bullet Club logo, in like although, Bullet Club, like. Although he probably, he probably pulled a lot of muscles in that huge neck when he found he was getting fired, and he snapped his head away. What? <laughs> so does 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 like does Gato take pity on Shane and let him book the the New Japan Rumble? I guess. I mean, I would because I don't really care about the New Japan Rumble. I really don't. <laughs> I mean, that's um, that's, that's, that's more must-watch television because then the New Japan Rumble becomes, like, much more interesting because you're like, look, a crazy person is looking at it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, 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 obviously, he obviously he has a desire to get back in the ring. He does. Because that, cause that was a big fight that happened, right? Is that he, he was in charge of booking the Rumble and he booked himself. Is that the rumor? I don't want to tell lies. I'm just saying what I saw. Uh, I mean, we're we're we're, 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 we're we're journalists here now, so I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thanks to John. Yeah, I feel that. legitimate now. Yeah, we're legitimate. I mean, you 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 did the research and found out his name was trademarked. I mean, I'll I'll believe anything you want to tell me. Not a single dirt sheet said that. So, because yeah. I guess because it's obvious. Like I'm like like I'm acting like oh look I found out some information, but it's like I think everybody assumed everyone at WWE is trademarked in some way or another. It's all right. Yeah, but but see, I well. You know, I, I use a pen name, but like you know, they, they they never trademarked my pen name when I was there. So you know, I'm the one exception. No, no, no because because uh, because they, they didn't, didn't make an action figure. figure. The idiots. idiots. They should have made an action figure of you. You know, like every employee, every employee at the WWE should get their own action, action figure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally everybody, everybody. Even like the receptionists at Titan Tower should have like a fun, at least a Funko. Yeah, should, like Mark. I'd buy a Mark Eaton cameraman action figure. Yeah, I mean, I mean. Come on. Come on, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Then, you could, then you could swap him out with John Moxley, Moxley in a mustache, so that way he beats the guy up with the uh, camera. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it's one of those figures that comes with a uh, changeable head. Yes, yes. 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 That'd be tight. Actually. I just, I just made more money for people. Come on. Yeah. Yes, Mattel you did. Be they just yeah. renewed with Mattel, I think, or something. They said that on the call. All right. Yeah. So okay. So so Shane. He's yes. in the. I guess he's in the never open weight division because his weight is open. <laughs> really open to interpretation <laughs> open to interpretation yes that's definitely gonna be open to interpretation interpretation guys Jesus. uh just like just like undertaker's height uh, which is what like mm. nine feet it's like nine feet right now right uh, i'm <laughs> sorry I, I thought dan Housen retired the undertaker in six thousand years ago oh sorry i meant the new undertaker yeah. right. the, the one since the 80s yeah, yeah. 
that one. But um, but I think uh, oh shit, he has been in the ring as Shane Stevens. Really? So when he did indies beforehand. Yeah, as yeah, Shane Stevens. So that would explain why. That's wild. That would explain why. I, I really I wish, wish WWE had done a docuseries before firing, firing him. him. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Also, so, so, also, so, also, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe he. This is just Vince putting him in timeout. You know, like. No, he wants his new son Nick Khan to do things. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens if you mess up, Nick. You're gonna get. Book to New yeah. Japan. Do you think this is like a Nia Jax situation where they're like, look, nobody is safe. We fired the Rock's cousin. I fired my own son. Oh my Who God. the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> I hit my wife with a steel chair. Who do you think you yeah. are? Yeah. Yeah. I hated all this shit, man. All this shit. Uh, I'll, I'll, bring back, I'll bring back Eric Bischoff and, Holt and I'll inject poison into the system again. Man, I think I think this is interesting anyway. though. I think this is interesting though. I mean, all kidding all kidding aside, mm -hmm. somewhat, which is rare for me. I would like to see Shane do something unexpected and not just like show up at AEW, which I don't think is going to be a thing. I hope to God not. Because I think even for him, that would be kind of a letdown for himself to be like, like going over there is not. A lot of people go, oh, man, I bet he wants to stick it to his dad. He'd go over there and stick it. But, like, to him, he's going to the competition. He's going to the he's going to the enemy with his hand out. You know, so it's kind of like, I don't know that I don't know that he would do that. Maybe he would. I don't know him personally, but whatever. Um, but I think and, and JPW is actually, or even Impact, you know, somewhere that hasn't been prodding at WWE for the past two years, three years, whatever it's been. I think, I think Impact, Impact would be very, very interesting. interesting. Uh, there's a bullet club there, so you know it still still could go down. Uh, I mean, I don't see him moving his kids to Japan anytime soon. No, but I mean, you could also go and buy like honestly, go to GCW, get the get the Jeff Jarrett rub for a little bit. Like it's fine, but also like show up at like I could see Shane booked against Effie. That would be the greatest match ever. Like I'm just so, or or even like start a promotion like. My brother-in-law is is shelved right now. Let's see what kind of money and options we have. Like a lot of people were good putting out some really good thought processes on it, but also like I don't think Shane has the talent relationship that that most people do with like Hunter or Sean or like so you know what else is he going to do? I, I thought for some reason. I know Stephanie was like a model for like the the apparel at some point in time. Was Shane like doing some like timekeeping or refing at some point in time? Just shows up as a random ref, like, like in a random, random promotion. promotion. Oh, well, I think I don't think a random promotion, but I think like he did like ref um some of the matches during like the Attitude Era when he was needed. If that's what you mean. I would like him to show up as as like the disciple of Red Shoes or no no. I need that. I need that. Yeah, yeah, I need that. I need that. I need I need Fale to knock him out. I need red shoes to. I need a match between red shoes. What? Sorry, no. Go ahead. No, I just no. Asked, is it is it too late for them to take him out of the video game? <laughs> I mean, that, that video that, that video game is. <laughs> Probably I'm just like wondering where the cutoff is. Like, like I know that, like, know that, like, like on the launch day <laughs> patch, they could just remove people on, <laughs> with the launch day patch. But I'm just saying, it's going to be the original Mortal Kombat where you only had six characters. Yeah, there's like, like exactly. eighteen Undertakers. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh my god. Like one Shane. Probably three. No, it's going to be Vince, Vince, Vince Durag, Vince, Vince, Vince with the suit on, oh, Muscle Jesus. Man, Vince. Um, uh, <laughs> muscle Man Vince, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, uh, and Druid Vince, yeah, and and, uh, and Vince with the uh, the, the stand back in the saxophone where, where Hogan's playing the saxophone. It's just yeah. gonna be a bunch of Vince. That's we can gonna be the past. Vince. We can also book Vince want, for this, too. I'm good. <laughs> next time on the next episode, <laughs> booking Vince. Um, <laughs> could well, you like, imagine if Vince? <laughs> one, one, one last, one last match. match uh at uh like at an aew oh, <laughs> oh my god that's it I it'll be go. the end 
I want to go Ric Flair versus me in in the Tokyo Dome. In the Tokyo in, Dome. In the Tokyo Dome. I've never been in the Tokyo Dome. I don't know anything about Japan. I guess I should call up Shane. Didn't I? Did I fire Shane yet? Who else did I fire? Did did I? Didn't I have a, a guy named Hideo Itami at some point? What about Shinsuke Nakamura? Is he still on my payroll? What's going on now? <laughs> Man, I give props. I give props to anybody. Anybody sticking around in that company right now, just watching the. I mean, people go and being like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been in a. I've been in, in a in a job before. Where there's like layoffs happening. And like real quick, like you go to the bathroom and look in the mirror and be like, "Are you fireable? <laughs> Who are you? Are you are you I've, worth something in this I, company?" I will also say that before before my current employment, yeah, I, I was in a sinking ship and I took a chance on myself. And and the yeah. the day that I started training, they fired everyone in my division, including oh myself. Yeah, no, I've been there, done uh, that. Uh, but but I that's take, my point: is that Shane Shane getting cut? really does send a message like i fired my own son ain't yeah, that, no one here you're safe yep i just, and I just can't fired him for stepping up to him too like fired him for not doing what he's told it wasn't just like hey you know we got to cut some people and i feel better cutting you because at least you know you're still in the will uh so you can take care of yourself he's probably like, not in the will after this well, he's got to trust. trust yeah well yeah now you know now it's just nick con Sorry, kid. It was a uh, you know budget. Uh, you were in the will though, but uh, we kind of cut you from the will too. Uh, 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 no free catering. Johnny Ace just hangs up. Yeah, sure, yeah, it makes sense to me. It's just it's just Austin awesome Theory awesome. and Nikon in the in, in Vince's will now. First of all, I, I love it. Feels like that. Okay. <laughs> uh, but but going but going back to um to booking Shane. Another like I do like the idea of him just going around to promotions just being an indie guy i don't see it happening because he, he's ex probably expensive just to have around you know like people people with his type of money well that used to have you know people who used to have money like him i think that going around like everything they do is expensive once you make a certain amount of money your life becomes expensive you know so i i, I don't know that these indies like why would they book him why would he go on there unless he's trying to promote his own brand of something if he had something to to push they're not gonna be able to pay him the kind of money he needs to make to live his damn life like guys think, taking helicopter rides and falling out of them like i think the he dude... yeah i agree i agree with you I, I also think he like legitimately i had some thoughts i was like maybe he just like maybe he calls up jeff jarrett and is just like hey jeff i know you had this failed wrestling company global force wrestling can i just <laughs> buy that from you it's a and startup. it's a startup. <laughs> um, I also think oh. like it. It'll be interesting if he does like the talk show circuits because like, he like does who does he? All. Yeah, d yeah. Does he go on Talk Is Jericho? Does he go on you know uh, um, mm -hmm. Renee pa Paquette's? Like nobody wants him. Nobody wants Shane McMahon gonna, on your. I was gonna say I don't. Know, I, I don't know how any of these people feel about him, so I'm not sure. sure. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, maybe, I would like him on here if he ever wants to jump on. Sure, sure. Shane McMahon. I'd book him. Are, yeah, book him on. Book, book him on. Yeah, I'd book him. You know um, what? I, you know what? You know what I would know do? What I would, do? I would start, start a podcast, podcast with him. With Just me and Shane. And Shane. Uh, but I, I mean, don't want to talk about wrestling. I want to. I've been waiting to do a film podcast. So if he wants to talk about uh, the Criterion Collection, uh, hit me up, my dude. Yeah, I mean, I. But he also knows where all the bodies are buried. So like, get him on Dark Side of the Ring. I think he's trying not to get cut out of that will, my dude. I think he's trying not to get that trust fund destroyed. Bro, just just get on just 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 call up the guys from Dark Side of the Ring. Give them all the dirt. Let them do all the seasons. He can be the executive promoter, like producer, whatever. That he'll make the money back so quickly. It's not even funny. Just sign him. I don't think he knows. I think I think Vince has kept him out of the loop for so long. I don't think he knows what's going on over there. I, my headcanon is always going to be that, that DX parody of them coming out and Shawn Michaels <laughs> dancing around to Shane McMahon. Look at me, Dad. I'm booking the Rumble. Look at me, Dad. <laughs> Look at me go. Um, uh, you know, part of me believes... Part of me believes that he's probably going to just go away 
and focus on his business, you know, on his own shit. I don't think he's going to go on TV, but maybe. I don't know. Maybe he has one last. Maybe he's hoping he can hold out for one last ride in WWE when this all cools down in five years or when the old man leaves. Yeah, I, I just that. yeah, because yeah, he has uh, he has his own company. He's got uh, Ideanomics, whatever it is. The CEO of so he was also like what helping out in China too, and so um, yeah. yeah. But um, I don't know. I mean, if, uh, if we granted were his, still... it, it, his company What's has changed its name one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. <laughs> eight times. <Nine> times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. China Broadband Incorporated also and something else. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Wow. Man. He'll be just he'll be just, he'll he'll be just be fine. fine. <laughs> he would too, right? He he'll be just fine. Um all of us here still have to like struggle a little bit. Uh <laughs> yeah, my heart my heart, my heart bleeds, bleeds for him. I can't believe you lost his job, poor bastard. bastard. <laughs> God, I hope uh, he can I live, can off, live of off of whatever the hell idea nomics makes every freaking year. Oh, it's it's on the NASDAQ, so I think he'll be okay. You mean what they Oh, it's only a dollar a share. I wonder if it went up since he got fired. No, it went down. Oh. John here being our exclusive journalist without being a journalist. Yeah, Again. I know. I can use Google just like any other journalist. <laughs> if they use Google. They, they, it's been... They, okay. They it's, been, Google. it's been going steadily down uh, for a while now, so I don't think it's related. Because he, he used all his... He took all his Royal Rumble money in crypto. <laughs> Vince oh paid him in Vince paid him in WWE <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! NFTs of himself, and then when he got released, he can't sign them. That's great. So oh good. no! All right, so uh, let's go back to trying to book Shane. Like, what would his interaction be with um, Bullet Club's uh, cutest tag team, uh, Taiji Ishimori and uh, El Fantasma? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Fantasma and Shane are gonna have the super kick, the battle of the super kick, and who has the metal plate and who doesn't, even though we we already know who has it, but still. <laughs> I I think the I best think Bullet Club match, match that could come out of this, out of this honestly, honestly, if if, if we're talking about just about just hands, hands down Shane McMahon, McMahon versus, versus versus a Bullet, Bullet Club, Club member, member, um, um is, is is probably. probably uh, I want to say, say I'm I'm still on the bad luck ballet plan, plan. Uh, and and the and look and this, this is this is this is me being as realistic as possible because like yeah. Shane the giant killer right he's always the dude who has to kill the giant or like he's always like trying to fight the big show or fight Kane or fight. I, I don't know, people bigger than him. Brock Lesnar, God, I, like, I, the Undertaker, like, and losing, valiantly losing, but like, but like, I keep coming back to this idea in my head of just like, Fale being just like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, who are you? Like, I feel like I feel like ELP is really the guy to like kind of call his ass out and be like, or Ch or Chase, Chase even might call his ass. Chase, Chase would do some crazy shenanigans. Like Chase would be like, young boy, you got to be my young boy. You got to carry my bags to the ring. You got to carry these basketballs. You have to carry my Texas heavyweight open uh, open weight championship, and you got to carry my water bottle. Some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. I just like or that. take on take on Hikaleo, and he'd just be like, like. Like Shane versus Hikaleo, like Hikaleo just chops him down or something like that. Like Shane just tries to like do a like I don't know something. He's only, he's still a young boy. He can only use like young boy moves. I'm still I'm still at canning that part, but it's just like like that's the that's best the best thing. Like I think he would get along with like the rogue gallery of like Jado, Dato, Dick Togo, and like be a manager esque for somebody and only get involved with like I don't know something like throw money throw like a stack of money at someone throw like a gold bar at somebody um as like you know you know uh, uh, Dicto has got the uh, the piano wire and Jado and Gato has got the kendo sticks like I don't know or like a, a like like a pair of new Nikes I don't know I, shoot so so basically we should we should name Shane like Shane Nike 
Shane Goldbar? Well, I think well, the I think first thing that happens is Bullet Club, Club like, like shoes, shoes takes, takes off, off through the roof because, because like everyone's gonna want a pair of Bullet Club like, like that, that. That branding brands, brands itself brands really nice. If Shane's always, always the guy known for shoes, shoes, that brands itself brands perfectly, perfectly, right? So, yeah, we but, should definitely, yeah, we should definitely have that. We should pitch that. Definitely. Um. Like John, oh, am I wrong? I mean, like, no, no, you're right, man. Listen, that's the money's the money, and the, wherever you can get it, uh, you know. All right, here's here's my take on 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 merch like that. It's always expensive to produce, and you never make money on it. But that's not the point. The point is, people go, look at them sick ass shoes. What are those? Oh, those are such and such shoes, and it's like, oh, sweet. And then that you know, it spreads it spreads awareness, right? I think Shane could have his own shoe brand and he could probably just have him made, right? I mean, it's like, he's got that startup money. I'm sure, I'm not even sure why he doesn't have his own shoe company now, to be honest with you. But he might, me. I mean, he, yeah. he might, actually, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Shane, if you ever watch this, uh, make your own sneaker company, man. Yeah, yeah, man. It was, it was 20% for the idea. Or I'm coming after you for not paying also, me for this free consultant. Sponsor, sponsor Square Circle Podcast for that. So I can give them the 20%. Also, yeah, also yeah, download Raid download... Shadow Legends, you, you <laughs> pansy. Yeah, why, 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 why haven't you downloaded, downloaded Raid, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends? Legends? Shane, uh, come on. You, you're not doing anything. You're not, you're not doing, doing anything right now, right now Shane. Shane. You got fired. Play Raid play Shadow, Shadow Legends. Legends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> It's not like you got. It's not like you got anything to book right now, man. Get, get don't, you don't even need the gym anymore. Just raid Shadow Legends, my dude. You know, and then use the promo code when you hit level fifteen, and you get a bunch of free shit. Or, or better yet, get your sons, who we know you have multiple of, who've come out on stage to also download Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, go oh, download Raid Shadow Legends. Tell us when you hit level fifteen. Try to come to New Japan with your sons. Try to explain to them that your your their grandpa fired him. That's gonna be the most awkward uh, holiday celebration. <laughs> you know the good news is. You know the good news is. There's like this didn't happen in like October where you have Thanksgiving no. and Christmas coming up. No, there's happened. enough time for them to cool off at least before even like the Fourth of July barbecue. You know, so there's like there's like time. I don't know for everybody it, I, to cool off. When Shane's birthday? When when are the kid? When are the grandkids' birthdays? Right? I don't like, think I, don't do think, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't you know what I? Happen. You know what I did for your birthday? I fired your dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now now they got more time to spend. Like, I just feel bad. Like, I feel bad that they're having family drama. Uh, that always get. I mean, I don't care who it is. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know it's it's funny to laugh about because they're famous and rich. Uh, and they've made lot, plenty of money off of other people's misery, but I think that um, it's it is it is always sad when there's family drama, which is why Bullet Club Shane goes to Bullet Club, find da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Vince. Oh no! What you what you got? Vince I like, replaces I like the leader of the United Empire. <laughs> Vince McMahon is now the emperor of the United Empire. Oh no! <laughs> he wears the he wears like a king like a kingly robe, you know, has like a crown and shit. <laughs> he buys out Okada's percentage in chaos and just comes out in one of those Okada um, inspired robes with just yeah. like his face on everything. Yo, but, but you know how Okada has all the names. <laughs> you know how Okada has all the names of all the champions. Vince yeah. has all the people that he fired <laughs> on his robe. Vince can't even remember. It says Samoa Joe X, too. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, man. I think that's I think that's that's the move. It's, it's every or uh, better yet. It's every cut character from WWE 2K22 on that robe. <laughs> That game's gonna be that game's gonna be like mostly just like create a wrestler. Like, hey, create your own wrestler, man. That's fun, right? 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 Uh, here's six here's six versions of Shawn Michaels. He still works here, I think. Here's who who do I have left on my roster? 
Yeah, I got Baron. Cor- I got Baron Corbin still. All right, put. Happy you got Baron Corbin, Corbin and Happy Corbin. Yeah. <laughs> put yeah. put Happy Corbin, Corbin the, the the Lone Wolf Baron Corbin, Corbin Unlucky Corbin, Corbin uh, 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 Madcap, Madcap Moss, Moss is the star, is the star of the game. game. That's who's on the cover. Yeah, let's, yeah, do, that. let's do that. No, no, they still got they still got um, Rey Mysterio on that cover, man. After Didn't what we like, do thirty years or whatever. <laughs> Didn't we do the math the other night and like Bobby Lashley now owns custody of Dominic? Yes. Yeah, you guys did. <laughs> yeah. Correct, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is which good for him, you know. Dominic seems like a nice kid, you know. So good for him. <laughs> which, by the way, do you think that like I don't know Shay could get the custody over Dominic somehow? Like come back oh, and be this Avenger and then take him over to yeah. Japan? Oh, could they do a faction of all the kids of of famous? <laughs> of famous With Shay leading it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know what? actually, actually, that's not a that's bad, bad. That's not a bad that's faction bad. idea. I mean, or or just buy ROH. Yeah, that's in it. April. April. Yeah, From Sinclair, no, man. Sinclair's got its got, got its cold fingers in that thing, man. Hey, you, ain't, you ain't prying that loose. From Shane, I, I got, I got, a, I got a better idea. Shane revives Lucha Underground. Oh, <laughs> does he wear like an all white like, suit and a Panama hat? <laughs> yeah, and no, he gets Armando Alejandro Estrada back, and that yeah. is their booker is just Armando Alejandro Estrada, just some some insane nonsense like that. Um, Man, that'd be tight. Yeah, actually, actually, I don't know. I don't even. I don't. I don't even know if Shane can afford a Cuban cigar. So I'm. I'm just saying right now. No, he's. I mean, he's got. He's. He's listening. He's. He's doing all right. I ain't worried about him. He, he can afford more stuff than us. We'll put it. Like sure. That. But, yeah, but I could start. I could start a wrestling promotion. And I only have one millionth of his net worth. So my que- my question then is like, was was it contingent that he like. I wonder if like Vince bought stock in other companies. I wonder if like he was like, yeah, they might beat me one day. I'm still gonna buy stock in them. But Shane was like, no, Dad, I am going to give you all my WWE stock when you fired me, or I'm gonna sell that. I don't know how the SEC feels about that, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm not actually sure. I don't think the McMahons care about the SEC. Vince McMahon oh, beat oh, the, oh, the U.S. The government. Thing. They can fire. <laughs> they can fire Shane McMahon. That's got nothing to do with any of his ownership or stock ownership or anything. Or bonuses or or you know. Uh, bonuses he probably won't get unless they're already due to him. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm sure they he, are. He modeled in the video game. His his likeness is used in the video game. <laughs> yeah, but I think. But I think. Um, I mean, I'm sure he has shares and stock and whatever. So I'm sure he's just going to show up in Saudi Arabia in the elimination chamber and he'll be fine. Yeah. That's what I think too. I think like all this is just like fucking talk. But we'll see him in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> he beats Goldberg in Saudi Arabia for the Universal Championship. Well, I mean, Goldberg right now is taking on Roman, and you know that that's going to probably be Goldberg's last match. Well, well. Wikipedia has enlisted <laughs> as an American professional wrestler first, and then businessman. Oh, for for Shane. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that, that that tells that me only tells one, me thing. one thing: we ain't what? done with Shane McMahon, according to Wikipedia. What happened? We're not done I with said, Shane McMahon. Man. He's a professional wrestler <laughs> first, businessman second. Businessman, huh? How, how, how business is business? business. business. Is he strictly business? Does he show that in NWA? And man strictly business? Imagine Maybe. if he did a couple of tapings for NWA and try to get the NWA belt. And tries to buy belt. Tries, tries to wrestle Zack Ryder for the internet championship. I'm sorry. Matt Cardona. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to see that? Honestly, it'll be money. Would be old, I, I would love to see him wrestle. Um, uh, um, what's his name? Mick Gage. Gage? <laughs> I want. I've been on this before. Imagine like with the pizza cutter and everything. Yeah, I, 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 I've been on Thomas Island when I said Ric Flair might wrestle Nick Gage. Gage. I definitely <laughs> said that. <laughs> I, I definitely remember. I think I said that. Probably. According to, according to his according Wikipedia, to his Wikipedia <laughs> Shane McMahon, McMahon started, started in WWE, WWE at the age of fifteen. 15. Fulfilling merchandise orders in the warehouse. Uh-huh. So you know what? I think he goes back to his roots. I think he goes to pro wrestling tees. 
Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. When all the data breaches, <laughs> he's going to be like, what's Oh, you know, he knows a lot about technology, you know. You know I'm, got, I'm, I'm still waiting on my check out. from them. <laughs> I'm still waiting on my check from them. I haven't gotten any money back. Right out to what a maneuver, what a maneuver. Uh, by the way. <laughs> man. Jeez, man. Such a disaster. Uh, but I think he goes, yeah, I think he goes, I think he goes to the wrestling tees. That's the one nobody expects. Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's, uh, no, I think no, he shows think up and starts managing CM Punk. Punk. Oh, ew. <laughs> I don't think that dude, I don't think he wants anything to do with that dude, but maybe. <laughs> what do they say? Uh, 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 shit walks, money talks, talks, something like that. Yeah, man. Uh, the, and keep your friends close, your enemies closer, or whatever. Yeah, that um, too. But ew. Actually, no. could you um, could you imagine MJF with with Shane McMahon as his as his as his like person? No, it's Shane, Mc, it's Shane McMahon and CM Punk. They'll call it they'll call it the Chicago Greenwich Connection. <laughs> That's too long of a word. Uh, <laughs> That's too long of a word. And then, and then oh, no. Shane has to do his uh, patented dance, like you know, that has to be a thing. A little foot shuffle thing. Yeah, little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, he breaks yeah, both ankles doing it. I'm surprised he hasn't he broken both ankles, ankles doing it in the basketball. I, I would, I would, I would, eat, I would shit eat shit <laughs> the moment I even thought about doing it. <laughs> I eat shit <laughs> thinking about it right now. <laughs> so if he's been reportedly, if he was originally reportedly scheduled for the elimination chamber, so much that it went into, it was reported by Sports Illustrator. Well, illustrated. Does that mean like they're gonna have to let him show up, or the or the the Saudi Saudi's gonna be pissed? Well, yeah, I mean, because if the prince wants it, the, the prince gets whatever he get whatever he wants, so he has yeah. to show up. Yeah, he, he wanted Yokozuna raised from the dead. Remember, they were gonna they were gonna perform uh, the Adam Cole ritual that got in, that was in BTE. They were gonna do that. They were gonna do some of that, John. I mean, it would be pretty. It would be pretty tight to uh, if they ever did like. Um, uh, with 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 uh, Shane, like Shane McMahon just showing up in the elimination chamber anyway, like he just kicks somebody out of one of the chambers, and they're like, "What is he doing?" He just jumps. He, he just like jumps through the crowd. Shadow. Like he, he just, just looks like he's been living on the streets. <laughs> like like they explain they explain he stowed away on the airplane, like in somebody's luggage. You know, <laughs> he has like a five o'clock shadow because he hasn't changed. He's been like sleeping in the street. They kind of do like like they do with Baron Corbin, you know, when he had the had <laughs> bad luck. And the mustard all over his shirt. Yeah. He's oh, wearing God. the same outfit he did from the Rumble. He's been hiding in a road case <laughs> since the Rumble. Jeez, man. I'll I just, want, I just him, want him I want him to show up to every show indie show, show in, in the same ring gear, gear with, with the, the same same, same mustard, mustard stains. stains. Oh no. No. <laughs> Why? It just, so bad. It's just, it's, it's like, like goes to GCW, GCW, does a barbed wire barb match, shows up with blood stained like jersey, jersey in the road case elimination chamber. chamber. They pull a Matt Hardy, Hardy where he jumps the barricade, barricade and, and and they're just, and they're like, just like, get him out of here, get him out of here. And the Saudi prince is like, no, no, we want the shame, we want the money. Here comes the money. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no pay per view without Shane O'Mac. Really, there and, isn't. And, remember, he won the the uh, the the, uh, the 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 whatever big big tournament tournament cup thing, thing Saudi, Saudi did last did time. That. Not the greatest Royal Rumble, that, that, but uh, um, the, the other one. Uh, what do you call it? The um the Andre the Giant thing, right? Was that no? There? He, he run won won the best in the world tournament, wherever the hell he you know. Yeah, yeah I think it was the best in the world tournament. Oh yeah, that yeah. <laughs> He Which beat is similar AJ. to like best of the super juniors. In a way. <laughs> God. That hurt. Oh, that hurt my soul. Um oh, it's dumb, man. Like, you know, the, uh WWE does like watch New Japan. So like, you know, they have to like copy off of them, but like, you know, that, that age old thing of, you know, don't copy my homework fully, just you know, change some of the answers. So I mean, I mean that, 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 hurts that hurts me. me. Just like, just like <laughs> they, they have, they have I, mean, I mean, basically, basically Shane McMahon, uh, I think Shane McMahon, McMahon should just wrestle under a mask for the rest of his career. Of his career. Like, <laughs> like, he won't I be able to breathe. Should... With a big no, dollar I... sign on it. Yeah, with a big dollar <laughs> sign on it. Um, that's, uh, that's you know, it's got an S and a big dollar sign. Dollar sign. And then... Shane, but, the, but the S is the dollar S sign. Ah, yeah. like 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 Quail Man, Quail Man. like the, uh, exactly. the belt from the Quail Man. Quail Man. Yeah, exactly. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, um, 
the, the real question, the real question is, is, you know, who do you tag team, team with, right? Like, if you're going to New Japan, you want to book Bullet Club, who does he tag team with? He could try tagging with Goto and see what happens. Wonder who else, who else he could tag. Like, I'm, I'm, actually I'm actually trying to, trying to book, book a scenario in my head. I'm trying to I'm book trying to him book on New Japan, Japan strong, strong, but I'm terrified. Uh, I'm, absolutely I'm absolutely terrified. Absolutely terrified. Why are you terrified? <laughs> Tom, uh, Tom, Tom Lawler comes Lawler out. Comes out. Maybe, maybe maybe Tom Lawler, Lawler wasn't at the press conference. Maybe it was maybe just it was the Shockmaster shock and it was actually Shane preempting his new career as a as a cage fighter. <laughs> he goes he goes the skim punk route, route, goes to the UFC. UFC. Dana, White Dana White loves him. Loves him. He, he gets he beat gets in the first match in a KO finish. That would be a sick career though. Like Shane just goes to the UFC. That would too. I would like to see uh how he does. Um we could also book them in uh, Gleet over in uh, Japan, and they have the UWF rules and shit like that. That'd be nice, too, to see him uh, do that. But it's just strikes, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's strikes. John, what else are you looking up? I was just, I was looking, just looking at, looking other, at um, other, um, other stuff other that, that, that Shane has done to see if I can find them. Just a clue, just a hint. You know, I'm trying to national treasure this shit. But there's, there's, there's very little. I just see a lot of work in China, and uh, I know that there's a couple of wrestling promotions out there. So he goes to work for CM. He goes to work for Yeah. Yeah, but I think he's, but I think he's too comfortable in Connecticut. I think he's just gonna sit at home and wait and hope he gets a phone call from his dad. It's like I would, I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine being in this situation. Uh, yeah, right. It'd be so weird and awkward. Like, like my dad and I yeah, do. We do. We do some work do some together. together uh, uh, you know, you know and, and 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 of course, of course like you know, like, you, you know, work you with know, somebody, somebody, and you know, by you know, like butt heads once or twice. But but, but we're very good working together. And I think I think it would break my heart if my dad was ever like, I can't work with you professional anymore. It would kill me. It would absolutely kill me. Here's the real question: Do you think Vince fired him, or you think Vince got someone to fire him? Well, well, I don't, I think, don't it think it matters. I think he knows where it's coming from. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, at that point, yeah. Technically, 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 technically Vince doesn't, doesn't fire anybody. anybody. You know, it's, it's it's human resources or whatever, or Johnny Ace or, you know, whoever. Yeah, trust so. me. When I got let go, Vince wasn't there in the room, so. <laughs> you imagine, <laughs> you imagine how, how worse it would be, be though? <laughs> oh it would God. be so, so, much so much worse. worse. Like, you would feel awful. awful. It's like, imagine, like, you know, you finally, like, Vince finally sits down with you and you're and you're like, oh, cool, Vince is here. And it's like, he's like you're fired. Like, what? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I felt I felt that way on the day of, and uh, even though he wasn't there, I was just like, what the fuck? Are you Could you do it with the microphone? <laughs> Could you do it? Like, you're fired. He's like, no, no human resources says I'm not allowed to do that when I actually fire people. <laughs> it's too embarrassing. Human human resources was there uh, during the whole ordeal. Oh, but apparently, it was, it was uh, but, but apparently she 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 was upset with me, and I was like, I don't even know you. I don't know why you're upset with me. <laughs> it's such a big, such company, a big company, nobody company. Nobody knows why anybody is doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm just there, like, why are you upset while like the other one is crying crocodile tears, and I'm like, what are you doing? What is happening? Are you are you, like, are you not adults? You not adults? <laughs> I, I, I thought I I'm not crying. I honestly <laughs> thought they were going to book Marie for the Royal Rumble. But I guess that didn't happen. No, so I was upset. No, no. I was a little um, upset. Little upset. <laughs> no, they, they they weren't gonna book me for the rumble. Um, yeah, they called. They called. They call, they, 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 called they, they called me, but I told but them I said, I said no. no. As long as Chain's there, I'm, there, there, I'm not going anywhere near, near WWE. WWE. <laughs> and then they, and fired, they fired him, him but I don't have the heart to tell him like I'm still not going. I'm sorry, guys. First of all, first of all, I'm out of shape, and second of all, I don't know how to wrestle, so I don't know. I can't help you. They called they me, called but I asked them to bring back the cruiserweight title, and they told me to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> they told you to go find Hornswoggle. <laughs> they told me to go find Swoggle, and I said, Swoggle's still getting more money than you are from his action figure promotion and stuff. Yeah. Cardone's getting more money from you. <laughs> Technically a cruiserweight, right? Hornswoggle? Yeah, I guess, right? For, for, former cruiserweight <laughs> champion. Yeah. yeah. Love him. Love him. That's that's funny. He even I, I hope he's I, 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 I hope he's a good guy because I put him over every time someone talks about Wenzel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. What happened? 
<laughs> I'm putting, I'm, I got, yeah, listen. listen. God gave me two of these and one of these. I'm going to use them. Go ahead. Um, well, uh, we hit everything. Uh, cause I had to double check our notes to make sure that we were like still on point, but like, this was fucking fantastic. Um, we lost the thread. Right. We lost the thread a long time ago. I'm just this like, was a lot of fun. no, we had the thread. Listen, we <laughs> broke news here. Uh, so. Uh, we did break news here. Yeah, we, we broke we, a lot we found, of news here. Yeah, we found out that, uh, John is our journalist without being a journalist. Um, cause I'm, Google, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, just... I'm like a hacker, man. I found that information using the computer and everything. And then, and then, with all your stuff in the background, makes it look even that more legit too. So, oh, man, <laughs> man. <laughs> meanwhile, my camera, my, my camera's just been moving around the entire time. So, like, I'm sorry to anyone who's viewing this. I'm not actually. <laughs> <laughs> what You're you did, fine, you, put your web, you, you put your webcam on the dog, and it's just been running around. So it's following. He's been very quiet the entire time. This webcam has been on him. I'm very Amazing. proud of you, Kibitz. I love you. You are a great dog. Shout out. Shout out, shout out to, to my dog. Shout out to my dog. Do you want to go shout with out. your dog and like have him on stream? I mean, I, 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 you're kind of calling me. I guess I could. Nah, it's all right. No, no, we don't want to see your butt again when you get up. So. I could. I could. I, shout out to whoever shout left me these Pokemon cards. Honestly, I don't know who did that. Someone just dropped Pokemon cards off my lot. <laughs> Weird. Uh, my, my, my fiance thinks they're sending, sending me a message. Me a message. <laughs> probably. I mean, it was probably, pro it was probably Professor Oak. Yeah, you got. You got to pick your starter soon, probably. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> I'm a fire type. <laughs> Big. Sh I'm sorry, I can't. What's my nephew? What's my nephew's name? I was. It's Gary. He's talking about Gary. Yeah, but you can yeah, call him whatever you want. Oh yeah, you can. Red. By the way, why don't you go uh, chase some Pokemon while I hang out with your mom here? <laughs> Go chase Pokemon while I definitely download yeah, Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends, Legends with your mother, and that is what we're doing this entire time. Don't we'll come in here and playing Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put the spotlight on me. If you guys are wondering what Raid Shadow Legends is, I'm going to play one last uh, ad uh, a little bit. Um, after I talk about all these kind of things. But uh, if you like turn-based games and uh, Skyrim, this is the game for you. Um, you have over uh, 500 unique characters to uh, pick from. You get 14 new characters every single month by the devs. Like, no other dev team does this. You can customize your character, make sure that they have the correct build so you can uh, end up getting endless victories, and uh, make sure you defeat all your bosses in the dungeons and stuff. We have PvP, we have a lot of things going on, and I guess I'll probably say it now, but uh, tomorrow I will be back on stream um, to play Ray Shadow Legends with you, with you guys, so we could all get up to uh, level 15, and if we're able to make a clan, you know, come join my clan, uh, come hang out with me tomorrow, uh, probably sometime in the afternoon, but stay tuned to my show, my socials, obviously, uh, follow me at Marie underscore Shadows, um, but before we actually, like, do outros... Uh, you guys want to say any last words or anything like that? Oh, or you, you can just drop oh, your God, stuff. I didn't know it was this know serious. serious. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Stay true to yourself. Uh, always remember who you are. And if who that person is sucks, sucks change, who change who you are. You are. And then be true to yourself and always be who you are. Is that, is that what you meant by my last words? or? <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to do. And then, and then we can uh, do uh, like, I don't... Oh. Oh, go ahead, Morgan. Sorry. You, you what are your final lines words? I think I think I got a bingo. Um, but but <laughs> honestly, this has been so much fun. Uh I have enjoyed this uh talking to people that I think are just absolutely hysterical and get the on brand sense of humor and are really just phenomenal. Do we honestly think Shane McMahon is gonna show up in New Japan? No. Do we yes. know I mean, what no. the future <laughs> <laughs> No, God, no, no, sorry, no. I meant no. <laughs> one of us should be, but what BKC does, one of us should be right. So one of us has to say yes. I, I, oh, I mean, I mean, I remember watching CM Punk read a with Marie the other time. We both just kind of had an audible, just like, 
we we knew it was gonna happen, but we were also just like, damn it, <laughs> we're we were wrong. <laughs> damn it. Um uh, you know, just enjoy wrestling for wrestling. Like sometimes having these funny opinions and having these moments just brings us closer together because at the end of the day, we all just want to kind of shoot the shit and it's not fun. If you can't make it fun, sometimes like you can't have a good laugh about something that is so over the top ridiculous, then you're missing the point of like the, the, the whole beauty of like what we, we, we enjoy together. Like, Go watch the Shockmaster again. Go watch like some botches. Go watch a bunch of Sin Cara trampoline outtakes. I don't know. Go just like fun. Um, go watch Bad Luck Folly throw a ref down. Please follow me on Twitter. I swear to God, I just want that. Um, but in all in all seriousness, this has been absolutely fun, and uh, I would I would I would be honored to come back again. Um, so thank you. And uh, thank you, Raid Shadow Legends, for for actually sponsoring Marie. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to 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 just plug the plug. Like, she, that's a big deal. She, yeah, she she deserves it. So, you know, thank you for the content you make. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. Uh, you can plug in your stuff if you want, and then I'll go over to John. Oh, I have stuff to plug. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> you always have stuff to plug. Oh, uh, 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 take that however you guys want to. Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, you told you people to follow you on Twitter. Where is that? Oh yeah, I did tell people to follow us on Twitter. Right. Uh, it's at kicking underscore myself. Uh, uh, listen to us on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Music. Um, not Apple Music, Apple Podcasts. I can't even speak anymore. God. Um, and uh, you know, it's kicking myself. MTG. It's a card gaming podcast. We talk about all things. We're going to start up a wrestling chapter soon. And um, you know, send us crazy, goofy stories on Gmail. We just kind of shoot the shit like this and uh, make bad beats stuff. So it's a good time. And uh, come listen to me curse people like Danhausen because that's apparently how I, I get over. I don't know. What you want from me? <laughs> um, oh, oh, get your Girl Scout cookies too. Do that because it's that season. Go, go, go get. Girl Scout cookies, do that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch it over to John. John, if uh, you want to plug in your <laughs> yeah. stuff, go ahead, man. Oh, man. Okay. All right, you guys can uh, find me on linktree.com slash John Sebastian, J-O-H-N-S-E-B-A-S-T-I-A-N. You can also listen to me as the co-host on Thomas Island at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time every Tuesday. That's uh, Thomas Island. You can find us on Twitch or Twitter. Also, uh, you guys can also hear me on the Call of Cthulhu Mystery Program. It is an audio fiction uh, based on H.P. Lovecraft's uh, The Call of Cthulhu. I play the uh, the hobo king Oswald Sinclair, and it's a good time. Uh, and, and other than that, uh, get your pets spayed and, spayed and neutered. Thanks, Bob Barker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I had an amazing time with John and Morgan. This was uh, fantastic. Um, obviously, we got to do this again with some other quirky uh, wrestling topic, uh, which I love. And I hope that you guys watching out there on Twitter, YouTube, and uh, Twitch, uh, you guys also enjoyed it too. You can watch the replay. And if you watch the replay, you could probably still use my uh, link to get, um, you know, Ray Shadow Legends. You guys should help me out with that. It'll be great because if you're helping me out with that, it helps me directly and not necessarily uh, Ray Shadow Legends itself. Like, obviously, play it, have fun, but you're uh, helping me uh, directly. Um, and then we're going to basically end this with the last ad, and then I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Brought to you by our sponsors at Raid Shadow Legends. Gallic is the worst starter in the game. Choose El Hain. <laughs> Let's see how that works out for you. Do we have the clip? <laughs> Emotional, damn it! Oh, I never get tired of seeing that. Don't be like El Hain. Make sure to scan the QR code for my special link. <laughs>